Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I illustrated this cute little apple crisp recipe card. Apple crisp is something that I make every fall after we go apple picking and I absolutely love it. But I also love making little recipe illustration cards to frame and put in my kitchen, make them seasonal, you know, do one for Christmas, your favorite Christmas baking, summer, I don't know, whatever. But yeah, so today we're gonna to be painting this. And then stay tuned till the end because I actually made up a crisp with my son and I put together a little video at the end of us making it. It turned out okay. I don't think he was a big fan of it, but let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so today we are painting an apple crisp illustration recipe card. And these are super fun to do and cute um, to use as decor in your kitchen during certain you know, seasons of the year. So that's what we're doing today. I'm using Arches watercolor paper, cold press, my Winsor & Newton professional watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brushes in a size six and size two round, and then water paper towel, and I have my pencil and eraser and a ruler if I need it. And we're gonna jump right in. Okay, so when doing one of these kind of like illustration cards, um, recipe cards, it's always good to plan first. So I wrote down my ingredients of what I'm going to need. So for this dish, this is something that I make and my mom has made for a long time. And when we do it, we don't really measure it out. Um, so we kind of eyeball it. So I'm not going to be actually writing down the full recipe, but you can always write down as much as you want, like measurements, everything under your illustrations. I probably won't be doing that. Um, I'll just be listing the ingredients but you can do it however you like. So for planning it out, I just wrote down everything I needed. Forgot to write apples, it's a pretty big part. So flour, brown sugar, lemon, cinnamon, oats, butter, apples. I think that's all, but yeah, so. And then next I just kind of place them how I think they will look good. I erased things that I didn't think look good and it's always best to plan these things out first. So that's what I did and that's how we're gonna do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the finished product in the middle. So I'm going to be doing a pan of apple crisp. So I'm going to make it actually a little bit more square, I think. So I'm going to do two lines that are a bit diagonal, like so, coming in because we're seeing kind of like the front perspective of it. It's like on an angle and then I'm going to use my ruler round out these edges a bit and you can add more details to the pan after and then I'm gonna do the front part here like that and then the back part here okay and then it's gonna cut you're gonna see the inside of the pan on this side so I'm just gonna do two little lines like that and then you're going to make the apple crisp so you're just gonna do some jagged lines, and then you're gonna have them come down like this, right to the front, like so, okay? Um, and the way I like to eat apple crisps sometimes is a nice, you know, dollop of vanilla ice cream on top, which you can totally do. I think I'm gonna draw it just to make it look really pretty. So I'm gonna have maybe a scoop of vanilla ice cream right here, and it's like melting. You wouldn't typically put it right in the pan. <laughs> You would put it on your plate. Maybe I'll do another one too. Um, but just for showing purposes, I thought it'd be cute for this. And maybe even some apples, little apple slices. Let's see if that even looks good. Maybe I'll do a bunch. Kind of looks like an octopus. It's all good. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm just gonna erase it a bit. I'm gonna erase inside where that ice cream is. And we'll do a bit more detail after. Okay, actually, I think I'm gonna erase those apples. Okay, so there is our apple crisp right in the center. Um, next, I'm gonna put the apple. So I'm gonna do an apple slice here, kind of like a crescent moon again. It's a half slice like that. Then I'm gonna do the apple around it. So, okay, so there's our apple. Then I'm gonna do, I think, actually I'm gonna put the oats here. So I'm gonna do like a bag of oats. So I'm gonna just make a rectangle. Like 
like so, like that. And then I'm gonna have two little lines coming in like this for the top of the bag. I'm gonna put a line back here, and make it go up. So it's like a bag of like oatmeal. And I think I'm gonna do like a little oat stock. You know what I mean? Just with some little oats on it. And I can do more with watercolor after. I'm not gonna go too much into it right now. And if I'm doing it light, it's cause I don't want it to show up too much. And then I'm just gonna draw some oats here. They're just two halves of circles like that. Okay, so there's our oats. Um, let's do our butter. Okay, so start off with a little square here like that. Then you're gonna do a diagonal line, follow that line, follow that line, okay? To make it like a little 3D butter shape. Have this line parallel to this line. And then bring it down and connect it like that little stick of butter. Okay, and you can put it on a plate if you want. Maybe I will. Like that. And I'm just going to erase it just a little bit. Okay, there is our butter dish. Um, then I'm going to have some cinnamon. So I'm going to do some cinnamon sticks here, just because they always look the prettiest, I think. And at the top, it's going to kind of do a little swirl. Do another one over here. A little swirl at the top. I feel like this one could be bigger, like that. And you can even do your little jar of cinnamon if you want. Little cylinder. We can write cinnamon on the label after. And feel free to use a ruler if you really want to. I do sometimes. Like that. Okay, so there's our cinnamon. And then we need our flour. Uh, actually, let's do our brown sugar. So again, just another kind of wonky rectangle. And actually, let's do a little pile of brown sugar here. So I'm just gonna do kind of like a little pile like that. And then we'll just make like a label that we can put on later. And we'll leave it like that. Then I'll do the flour over here. So same kind of deal as the oats. A rectangle. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna make the label here. And I'm just gonna erase that just a bit. Like so. Okay, there, and then last but not least, a little lemon. We'll do, hmm, let's do like a half a lemon here to start off with a circle and then draw a little bit of the skin here like that. Then we can have like some leaves and maybe like a little lemon slice, which we will watercolor better after. Okay, so there we go. There are all of our ingredients. So now we can get into watercoloring. Just make sure that you erase any lines that just seem a little bit too dark or whatever. You don't want all that pencil marks, all those pencil marks behind. But yeah, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna take my size six brush and I'm gonna start off with the ice cream. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with the ice cream. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of black, like the lightest wash. And I'm just gonna go kind of really bumpy, kind of around where that ice cream would be. And I'm just gonna kinda go in with some lines, just creating shadows because it's white, but it's gonna have an undertone of gray. Like that. like that, okay? And then we can decide if we want apples slices, I think. Maybe I'll put a couple apple slices. I'm actually gonna take my smaller size two brush 
and I'm going to take some, should I do red or green apples? We'll do red apples. I'm just going to do the outline of the skin for the apples. One, two, three. And then I'm going to take a really light, kind of like a yellow to do the inside the apple. Just gonna mop up some of that red that was bleeding there. Like so. Okay, just like that. Just gonna put a little bit more darker gray there. So we're going to leave that to dry just because I don't want the ice cream to bleed into the apple crisp. Um, and let's start with the apple up here. So yeah, let's do the apple behind. So I'm going to do a red apple. So I'm just going to grab my Windsor red and I'm going to go around and fill it in with a light wash going around that apple slice. We're just going to fill it in and then I'm going to grab a bit more pigment and I'm just going to do some texture on the apple, doing some lines with wet on wet. I might even grab a little bit of sap green to put a little bit of green in this apple. that. And then to get a bit of a shadow, I'm going to add a little bit of hooker's green dark to my red to make a darker red. And I'm just going to put it at the bottom here. And right here, you can actually go right into the stem because it's kind of a brown like that. Just making it a little darker underneath. And if it looks a little too streaky with some of those like red marks that you made, you can go back in and just blend them out a bit. Like so, okay? And then we will come back once that's dry so we can do the apple slice. Okay, let's do the oat meal, the oats. So I think for this, I'm gonna just use, let's do a yellow ochre for the bag. Let's make sure we have a nice like little label area here. We can write oats. I'm just gonna do a yellow bag. And it doesn't have, you can do model it after like actual brands and stuff you use. Right now I'm just kind of doing this for fun because I forget what they look like and I want it to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to my fall decor. Okay, I have that label going back. I'm gonna add a little bit of burnt umber to my yellow, especially on the side here, just making it a little darker the bottom and then around the label a little bit and then I'm going to take my burnt umber and I'm going to do some of those little oat plants actually maybe I'll do a yellow I'm going to use my smaller brush for this I'm going to do my yellow ochre just do my little oat stalk And then you're going to have some of the longer leaves. And 
And then I'm going to grab my burnt umber and go back in like that. Just add a little bit of darkness. Like so. I'm just kind of outlining again with the brown while it's starting to dry. And then we can do our little oats here. So I'm just leaving a little white line in between the two halves. Like that. Okay. Then we can do the label after. All right, let's do our butter here. And the butter is kind of the same color-ish, but just a lot lighter. So I'm just gonna water down that yellow and go over it. like so, and then grab a bit more pigment. And just add a little bit to the lines. Like that. And there's our butter. And we'll do the dish after. Okay, let's see. This is dry now. Let's do the dish first. So I think for this, I'm going to do kind of like a sagey green color. So I'm going to grab some hooker's green dark and some dioxazine purple. And water it down. And I'm just going to do the pan this color. This is actually similar to the pan I actually use for my apple crisp. Even go a little bit lighter. Okay, and then once it's filled all in, you can go in with a bit more darker pigment and just go along some of the edges while it's still wet so it bleeds. I'm gonna go a little bit darker behind the ice cream where the apple crisp is. Like so. Okay. And there we go. There's the pan. Okay. Let's move on to our cinnamon stick. So I'm just going to grab some burnt umber, maybe a little bit of like a darker brown sepia, but you can use black and mix it with your brown if you want. And you're just going to go over those cinnamon sticks for now, and then we can do detail on them later. Just do a little brownish colored top for this and a brown bottom. It's a darker brown bottom. that. 
a slight line over where the label is. We'll do the label after. Okay, let's do our brown sugar here. So it's kind of like a honey color. So let's do our burnt umber and yellow ochre. And I'm gonna just start by doing here, the little thing, you know, pile like that. And then maybe we can do the label. Let's make the label. Hmm. Let's make the, the label like a little bit of an orangey red. Make it a little lighter. Like that. Okay, we'll leave that. And then on to our lemon. Okay, so let's do cadmium yellow, a really, really light wash in the center, like really light wash. And for the slice here, and then you're gonna take more pigment, so a bit more yellow. And you're gonna go around where the skin is, so around that circle around the edge, around the edge of that. Okay, and you can just start doing little lines coming in. Like that. Oops. Let's get a little bit of yellow ochre in there too, just to define some lines. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to just do the little leaves. I'm going to grab some, what's it called? You know, sap green. <laughs> So the trick with these little illustrations is you just have to be patient and take your time, work with a smaller brush, and grab some green, darker green, just tap it in there like that. Okay. And then our flower. So I'm going to leave the bag kind of off white. So I'm just going to take a, like a light gray and go over where it'd be kind of be white. I think I'm going to do a red label. Okay, so just really roughly adding some gray on there. Like that. Okay, and there's our flower bag. Okay, so we've kind of done our first round of ingredients and now we're gonna go back in and do the things that we haven't done. So make sure they're dry first. Okay, I'm gonna take a really light wash of our yellow ochre here for this, the center of this apple, even lighter. And I'm just gonna cover it. Then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to go along the peel and it will bleed a little bit into the center of the apple, but I just like that look like that. Okay. And if you'd like, you can take a little bit of burnt umber and just tap the center a bit on the edge if you want. Maybe a bit more like that, like there was like a seed or there or something. Okay. Okay. And then that one is done. Okay. So our apples are kind of done. Actually, let's get a bit of 
darker brown and just kind of make that stem a little bit more prevalent and then you can just kind of darken the bottom a little bit if you like. If you want to add a little bit of green, you can add a little leaf there. Like that, totally up to you. Okay, our oats are pretty much done except for the label. I say for the label, we just do like a, a grayish color. So I'm just gonna do really light wash of black to leave the label kind of white like that, okay? The butter dish, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. Gray, really, really light wash. And then I'm gonna put a bit more darkness right underneath that butter. For a little bit of shadow, like that. Okay, cinnamon, I'm using my smaller brush now. I'm gonna grab my dark, dark brown again. And just kind of go over that little swirl. Oops, had way too much on my brush. And then I'm just gonna make sure that these two are separated. So I'm just outlining it slightly. You can put a little bit of texture on the cinnamon if you like. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, just going around the edge of the little container. Okay, and then this is our brown sugar. So I'm gonna take the same color that we had for the brown sugar and fill in this bag. Bit more on the brown side though. And then I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. It's gonna be a clear bag. like that and then I'm going to take a little bit of gray and just do kind of like the bottom clear part of the bag and then at the top just jagged edges like that I'm grabbing my small brush again and I'm actually going to grab that cinnamon not cinnamon brown sugar color and I'm just going to do some dots tiny 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 dots on our little cinnamon pile here like that you can even do little dots around it like that okay all right there we go how's our lemon lemon's pretty good i'm just going to take a little bit of yellow ochre and again just kind of making those sections a little bit more detailed not too too much though don't worry too much about it like that and then our flower i'm gonna have a little off red off red dark red off red <laughs> kind of label And then I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker on this side, like that. Okay, and then last but not least, we are gonna be doing this little apple crisp area. So it is brown, so I'm gonna use my burnt umber. I'm gonna start off with a light wash going over the apple crisp part. Make it a 
a little bit lighter. Make sure I'm going around those apples and that ice cream as best as I can. And I'm starting off with that light wash. So we can add some darker bits in later. So now I'm going to grab a bit more brown, a bit more burn umber, a bit more of the sepia color. And I'm just going to start doing like little dots while it's still wet. And that will kind of create that textured look of the crumble on top, essentially the brown sugar and the oats. that and you can let that dry and then we can do a little bit more detail so let's let all of this dry and then we will come right back okay so just a little bit more detail on things I'm just gonna grab a bit more red for our apple here the apple skin especially I'm just gonna darken that up a little bit I'm gonna darken up these little apple skins I'm going to take a little bit more gray for our ice cream and just kind of go over it a little bit more. Do a little more cracks in the ice cream. You could even do a little bit of like caramel drizzle on it. Take a little bit of yellow, which could be yummy. Yeah. A little bit of caramel drizzle with our yellow ochre. That looks cute. And then I'm just gonna darken up a little bit underneath the ice cream and around the apples just to make it a little bit more Make it stand out just a little bit more. Okay. Like that. And you can do more dots too and like little, especially around the edge. that let's grab our green color and just do a little bit more sharpening to the edge here with a little bit of like a lip Okay, and then we can go around the oats a little bit. You could always use a pen if you wanna really sharpen this up with something darker, totally up to you. butter dish sorry about the fire truck noise gonna grab a little bit more in darkness and just put it under the butter like that I think our cinnamon's pretty good our brown sugar's pretty good might just go around the 
bag just a little bit more. Like that, and same with the flower. Okay. Okay, so there, our illustrations are done. If you would like to take a little bit of like really, really light gray, so a little bit of black, just watered down and just do a little bit of shadow underneath each piece, you can definitely do that too. I might do that. And then when I come back, we are going to do um, the lettering for all the ingredients. Okay, so before I do it in pen, I'm gonna do my lettering in pencil. So I'm gonna do the title of what it is first. I'm gonna write apple crisp. So I'd always do it with my pencil. Like that, apple crisp. I think I'm gonna just write it block letters. There we go. Okay, so I've written everything I want to write for now. Again, you can always write the measurements. Um, tons more things you could do with this, but I just want to keep it simple for now. So now I'm going to go over it in pen. I'm just going to be using my Tombow mono drawing pens in a size 01 for now. Okay, so there's all my writing and you can always write too on the actual packages if you want on the little labels. I'm looking at the words apple crisp and I feel like they need to be a little bit more thick. So I'm gonna actually go over it with watercolor with my size two brush. So there is your little illustration recipe card for apple crisp and you can definitely do it however you like add more add less um, maybe looking at it later I might add like a few little like fall leaves here and there but that's basically it what are we making today watermelon. no we're not making watermelon we're making apple Apple crisp, yeah. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, okay, let's put this a little work area, is cut the apples. Mommy's gonna cut the apple. Whoa, look at that, look. <gasps> apples. Do you want a little snack? Mm -hmm. Do you want a little snack while we do this? Okay, you want me to cut the lemon open? Here you go. You only eat the inside. Let's see how that goes. What do you think? And this is a watermelon. No, it's a lemon. A lemon. Yeah. So, Noah, why don't you tell everybody what is your favorite food? Uh, um, pizza. You like pizza? Because every time we eat pizza, you never eat it. You like crust. You like the crust of the pizza. And you like cheese on its own, you like all the toppings on its own, but when it's together, you're like, ah, no. Now we're gonna make the crumble. This is the fun part, okay? Stir, stir, stir. Oh! Why did I not see that coming? Okay, hold on. Let me go get a spoon. Hey guys, I want to get a walk. I go to walk. Hey guys. Hey guys. Are you being a YouTuber? It's a lemon. Lemon. How does that taste? Good. Yeah? Oh goodness, you're just eating sugar. Okay. Hey, so we're gonna go put this in the oven. And make our quick. Say, now we wait. Now we wait. What are we waiting for, Noah? <gasps> the oven ready? Yay. So mommy's gonna go put it in the oven, okay? Okay, there you go. Apple crisp. What do you think? Is it yummy? 
Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.